Today, I'll show you some of the easiest ways to find money-making keywords so that you can easily steal from your competitors. Um, they're completely free, plus you don't need any fancy paid SEO tools to do this. And this is a very quick and easy, straightforward tutorial to use. And these are the same strategies that I'm using to find easy keywords that I can quickly rank for. For example, you can see just this week, so from 29th of July to the 5th of August, we've already gained 101 top three positions and we're ranking for 72,000 keywords for this website. However, today we'll focus mainly on money making keywords, not informational keywords, because I've covered that a lot in the past. Um, we're talking about keywords with commercial intent that are going to make you money from Google. And this is the same keyword strategy to find easy money making keywords like this, for example, you can see my website ranking number two there. When we rank for easy keywords like this and we scroll down, if people click on my affiliate links, as you can see here for these different products, and then they buy the product that I'm recommending, we make a commission. So if you want to find commercial keywords that will be easy to rank for, make you money, increase your income from your website, then make sure you keep watching. So we're going to start with Google, easiest free keyword research tool you can get. And what you would do is you want to look for pages that have the Amazon disclaimer on their website. Now, what does this mean? Well, basically Amazon have an affiliate program, as I showed you a second ago, and every website needs to include a disclaimer on their website if they recommend products from Amazon. This is a legal obligation. And if a website doesn't have this disclaimer and they're making a lot of money from Amazon review products, then they can get blocked or banned for not using that disclaimer. And then after that, all you're going to do is include your niche. So for example, if I'm in the birds niche, I would put the keyword like, there we go. Now, what you'll see here is that every website that's shown up on the results here has this Amazon disclaimer right here, basically saying their website is a participant in the Amazon services associates program. So this is kind of like a footprint to find money making keywords because we know all the websites listed are trying to make money with Amazon affiliate programs. And therefore they're going to have loads of keywords that we could potentially scrape and steal as well. And they've done all the research for us already. Now, what you want to make sure you do is if you go to see all search settings like this, make sure you've got 100 rather than 10. And that basically means that when you move this over here, a hundred results will show up on Google that you can easily scrape and find Amazon affiliate websites with. So we'll go back to the search results and you can see we've got a hundred websites listed here. They're all making money with the Amazon affiliate program, or at least trying to. So what we're going to do is open up Harper AI. If you don't already have this, it's a free tool that's really good for SEO that's powered by ChatGPT. And you would scrape the whole list of websites and domains from the search results right here. And when you open up Harper, what you can actually say is just give me a list of the domains from this page and it'll give you a list of the relevant websites on this page that you can easily scrape to get results from. And you've got the top 16 right there. You could base them into a spreadsheet and then we can use this sheet to start scraping money making keywords from our competitors. Let me show you how. So you can search for the website. Let's take mine as an example. And then in quotation marks, just put best four, right? So if you want to search your competitors and steal all of their money making keywords for free, then you can put site colon their URL right here, and then just type something like best four, right? And that will show related Amazon review keywords that you can easily steal. So for example, best window bird feeders, or this binoculars review, or best finch feeder, right? And then you can take these, you can start putting the keywords in like this, and just scrape all of your competitors. And let's say you just scrape the top 10 from each of your competitors. Well, if you've got 16 competitors on your list, then you're gonna have 160 different keywords so you could start creating Amazon affiliate articles for and start making money. And then you could create the content with chat GPT, et cetera. Now, if you don't want to manually copy and paste all of this, what you can do is go to Harper AI free tool. And if you open this up and you say, right, extract the Amazon review keywords with best in them, just a pairing topic. You give it an example like this and it will extract the top 11 keywords like so from this page from your competitors. So for example, if we search out on the page, we can see it right here. So it's basically reviewing all the pages on this list 
and then it's extracting the ones related to Amazon review keywords. So basically pages that are reviewing different products. By the way, if you want the prompts from today and everything that I'm talking about, I'm actually going to leave all of them inside my free course, which you can get right here. A link is in the comments. You can get that free access instantly. Now, what you can also do is you can go onto the page like so, and you can ask Harper AI for the LSI keywords from the page's content, right? So you can find all the relevant terms that you should include based on the competitor's content to make sure that your content also ranks and is relevant just like theirs. Now, one thing I've been thinking about as well is finding foreign affiliate topics related to my industry, but in foreign languages. And that's simply because it's much easier, less competitive, and it's very easy to sign up for Amazon associate programs in different countries. So you can sign up for French or Spanish, etc. And I know that my website, even though it's an English website, can rank in all these different languages. So for example, if I search for this keyword on Google and I look for my website, you can see it's still ranking on the first page right there. So it keeps its rankings. It can rank in foreign languages. Now, if I create foreign affiliate articles, it's going to be lower competition. I can still make money with the keywords. There's going to be there's still going to be plenty of search terms I can find, and I can easily find those free search terms using Google. Now, how do you do that? You just find the Amazon Associates Disclaimer, but in the foreign language you try to rank for. So, for example, this is in Spanish, and this would be the Amazon Affiliate Disclaimer. And then you would type in the industry or the niche that you're trying to rank in, right? So, for example, aves means birds in Spanish. So if we search that, we're going to find a bunch of Spanish birds websites that are creating Amazon affiliate articles, and therefore we can steal and extract their keywords from this list, create articles ourselves, and then start ranking and making money with these pages. So for example, if I look at this page right here and we scroll down, we can see that this article right here is promoting Amazon affiliate links. We can see them right here. And then we just take the keyword from the page and start creating content ourselves. And the thing is about these products in Spanish is that they still cost the same amount, right? So you're still going to make the same amount of commission, but it's going to be easier to rank in those keywords in those foreign languages. And using AI, it's very easy to create the content. Like you could use ChatGPT, you could use Koala Writer to create the content in Spanish. You know, you've got a good chance of ranking and you know, if people land on the page and click your links, you're going to make money from that. Now, another free tool you can use is Uber Suggest. And this is actually better than I thought. So what you can do, if you sign in to your account, you get three searches per day for free. And if we go down to keyword research like this, now, if you go to keyword research over here and you click keyword overview, and then you would just type in best and the niche that you're in. So for example, best bird, we're going to change the language to English, select location as United States. And from here, we can find a bunch of keyword ideas related to birds. So for example, best bird camera, best bird feeder, best bird feeder squirrel proof, best bird binoculars, etc. And if you delve more into that, you can see that we've got tons of different ideas for bird review articles that could make us money with Amazon. So for example, best bird feeder poll, best bird watching near me, etc. Best bird bath fountain, best bird food for wild birds, etc. Over here, you've actually got the SEO difficulty estimates. And ideally, you want to find the lower keyword difficulty opportunities. What you can also do is if you take a keyword from Uber Suggest and then you type it into Google like so, you can find a bunch more free money-making keywords simply by going to the people also ask section. And then you can see a bunch of keywords like this that you could create articles around. Now, if you take a keyword like what do you get an avid birder, this is a very low volume search term, but at the same time, it's an opportunity to make money and it's going to be very, very low competition because most companies aren't going to create a single article around this keyword. So if you come along with an article that's specifically tailored for that search intent, you've got a much higher chance of ranking. It can still make you money. You know, people are still searching for it because it's under the people or SaaS section. And we know it's getting searches because the data is in Google, right? And so it, by doing this, it's so easy to find tons of money making keywords that you can create Amazon review articles around and that way you start making money. So for example, like what kind of camera can I put on a bird feeder? What do you get an avid bird feeder, etc. Now, what you can also do is if you go to Bard, free tool as well that uses AI, 
and you say to Bard, give me bets for product review roundup SEO keywords for my, and you just change this keyword right here to your niche. So for example, it could be birds, could be cameras, etc. And you want the competition scores, search volumes, and all of this should be monetizable with Amazon products. But you want to keep the keywords short and ideally you should be able to compare the keywords in a table. So we're going to hit enter like that. And now we also have a bunch of keywords that we could create Amazon review articles around and monetize with affiliate marketing. So we've got the keyword, the competition score, the search volume, and whether it can actually be monetized with Amazon products. You can even extract it to Google Sheets. So there we go. That's the thing I like about Bard is the fact that you can just go straight to Google Sheets from Bard. And the data from this table is directly from Google's PPC platform. So from AdWords, right? So AdWords already has the data on search volumes. Competition score is based on the amount of people bidding for that keyword on Google AdWords. But basically using the keyword data from Google, Bard is a really powerful tool. And you can't really do that with ChatGPT because ChatGPT doesn't have the data. Whereas Bard is owned by Google, which means all the data is already in there. So that's basically it. So that's basically it. Now, if you rinse and repeat all of these methods, you're going to find hundreds of money-making keywords for free so that you can start creating more review articles, finding more money-making opportunities, etc. Now, this whole SOP and all the prompts we've included today, I'm going to include in my free course, which you can get here. I'll leave a link in the comments. If you want to book a call in directly with us about how to increase your SEO traffic and get more leads, traffic and sales from Google, feel free to book in a call right here. And uh, thanks so much for watching.